Hi everybody and welcome back. My name's Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I thought I would go through some two octave scales and the scales are really really good to do because they, they do help you with the dexterity in your, your fingering to help get your fingers moving in the right places. When you come to play your, your pieces you've got lots of scales in there so getting some good fingering with the scales helps, helps that to come across when you're putting those into all your pieces. So instead of doing sort of odd sort of fingering like you might do here because you've been practicing scales you'll automatically do the correct fingering that sort of feels most natural and everything so I've got some printouts which will be in the description bar directly underneath and you might see just above me here now I've got two sheets of music that are free for you to print out but they are both exactly the same they're just written out um, in a slightly different format depending on how you prefer to see them. So this one here has C major, D major, G major, A minor, that's a harmonic minor by the way, and D minor which is a harmonic minor as well. How this process works is it's two octaves, so one octave is eight notes, so an octave is eight notes, two octaves is double that. It's actually, a, a, a two octave scale is actually 15 notes. And how I've done it here is that you've got the letters or the notes that you're going to be playing which are the black capital letters for each one all down here and then above it with the red writing is the right hand fingering and underneath it in the blue writing is the left hand fingering so basically you'd put your thumb uh, talking with the right hand here that's why it's red for right hand with your thumb you'd play or finger one you'd play C finger two you'd play D finger three you'd play E with finger one, which is the thumb again, you'd play F, finger two, you'd play G, so on and so forth. And with the left hand at the same time, you'd play uh, C with finger five, D with finger four, finger three would play E, finger two. So that's the first process uh, that I've, I've done, or the first way that I've done that. And that's the way I normally give it to students, just because then everything's coming at the same time. So when you play, when both hands play a C, you know the right hand's playing it with a thumb, the left hand's playing with the fifth finger. When you play the next note D, the right hand's playing it with finger two, the left hand's playing it with finger four. So that's the first sheet. The second sheet, which has exactly the same information on just in a slightly different way, but on the right hand side is all of the right hand. On the left hand side is all of the left hand. All the scales are, ex are the, exactly the same. The only difference between each scale is that they start and finish on a different note and they might have one or two black notes in them that you have to remember. So C major, starts on C, goes all the way up to the next C and then the next C above that because we're doing a two octaves and then it plays all the notes all the way back down again. So the fingering is the same for all of them. The entire process is the same. So once you've learned one in terms of fingering, it's exactly the same thing. And like I said, you just have to remember uh, for example, if you're doing G major, that that's got an F sharp in it. You can try these scales together or separately if you want to. I'm going to do them separately and together so you can just see me go through them and you can see what they look like. So starting with C major, I'm going to do that the right hand separately. So I'll take you through C major and then the rest of them I'll just show you. So, so it says here that I have to put finger one on C and I'm going to start on middle C. It doesn't matter, I'm going to start on middle C. Finger two on D, finger three on E, then finger one on F. So what I'm going to do here is tuck, is tuck that thumb under to give me an F and then as I do that I'm just going to move the fingers across so that they're all ready to play the next notes. Finger 2 on G, finger 3 on A, finger 4 on B. Because this is a two octave I'm going to tuck my thumb under again because I want to go up all the way up to here in fact and it's pretty much the same same finger numbers that you've just done. 2 on D, 3 on E, 1 on F, 2 on G, 3 on A, 4 on B, five on C. You simply follow that all the way back. The reason why I haven't written the, the backwards version on this side of the page is it makes it sort of seem like there's more so it makes the whole sheet look a bit more complicated and not only that if you're simply following it backwards it just makes it a whole lot easier to memorize in my opinion. So don't play the top number twice, sorry don't play the top note twice, go straight back down four on B, three on A, I'm just reading this from the sheet by the way, two on G, one on F, then I need a three on E, so I'm just going to cross my third finger over, two on D, one on C. Now I need a four on B, this is important, four, three on A, two on G, one on F. I've got three notes left, but I know I've got to cross over a three, two, one. 
So the easiest way to remember what fingers are going to be tucking under and crossing over and things is that when you do your normal one octave scale, you're, everybody's used to one, two, three, and tuck under. So you're used to the third finger getting the action. When you want to take it up another octave, that means you're going under the fourth finger, and that's where the fourth finger comes in. So it's three as usual. If I want to take it up another octave, I've got to tuck under finger four. Don't forget three as usual. Three as usual. Now I'm, I'm, I'm technically I'm stuck and I need to get all the way down here. So what I'm going to do is cross over my four. And I, I remembered that on the way up I had a four on B. Or I just look at the sheet in front of me. Four, three, two, one, three, two. So C major, I'm going to start just the octave lower, and I'm just going to follow the numbers like I did on the sheet. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. Now to take it to another octave, same as we did in the right hand, and 4. It doesn't matter that the 4 is going on a different note, it's just the process. 4, 3, 2, 1, 3 as normal, 2, 1. Same thing that you did on the way back down. So try and remember where you put those 3s and 4s. 2, 3, that I just had a second go. So I'm going to tuck, I'm going to tuck my thumb under. 2, 3, 4. Don't put 5 down or you'll finish it. So tuck that thumb under. 1, 2, 3, and then under. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to play that hands together. So before you do it hands together, I would recommend that you can do two octaves hands separately perfectly, inside, outside, forwards, backwards, upside down, all that kind of thing. Because if you start to put it together straight away, you'll, you'll just completely come unstuck. So the hands are going to be doing different things at different times. So here we go. Right hand moves first where I tuck the thumb under, left hand carries on. Left hand uh, crosses over a three, right hand carries on. Right hand tucks the thumb under, left hand carries on. Left hand crosses over, right hand carries on. Right hand tucks under, left hand carries on. Then left hand crosses over, right hand carries on. Then backwards. Left hand tucks under, right hand carries on. Right hand crosses three over, left hand carries on. Left hand tucks under, right hand carries on. And now the right hand crosses a four over, left hand carries on. Left hand tucks under, right hand carries on. And then the right hand crosses over three and the left hand carries on. If I do that one more time. Tuck under three, cross over three tuck under four, cross over four, tuck under three, cross over three, tuck under three, cross over three, tuck under four, cross over four, tuck under three, cross over three. I'm going to go through and do the D major two octaves hands together so you can see me do that and then I'll go through the rest of the scales. So this is D major. Now I'm going to do G major. I'm going to do A minor, A harmonic minor. And D harmonic minor.
So there we go, there's the two octave scales, hands together all separately. Thanks very much for watching, uh, don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.